Today we're demanding payment. Right. And we believe the only way to eliminate the wealth gap is through reparations. The wealth gap in this country is uh, 90%. Whites have 90% of the wealth. Blacks have 2.9% of the wealth. So the only real way to close the wealth gap is by paying reparations. The slave uh, owners were given reparations when they released the, when they released their slaves. So we feel it's important that the American descendants of slavery who built this country be compensated for slavery. Reparations, not only my great grandma was a slave, her mo mother and father were slaves. Maddie May in Memphis, Tennessee, they have hung my uncles. They locked my father up while he went to Vietnam and had to go on the front lines in the jungle when he came back from Chicago, when they treated him messed up and then he was in the hood and he got shot up over South where George got killed. We have to talk about the historical pieces. Our proposal would be like if your family was here, if you're black and you've been here since 1965. So like if your family went through sharecropping, Jim Crow, the lynching period, redlining and redistricting, uh, those type of things would, would be the determinant. It also is gonna deal with police brutality, uh, fixing our criminal injustice system, uh, addressing medical issues, addressing the business component. So the cat, the, the St. Paul Recovery Act will put taxes on menthol, cigarette. It would start with like all tobacco products. Then there would be a fund and that and that money would be put into the reparations, the St. Paul Recovery Act and distributed to the American descendants of slavery. The best way to address police brutality is through reparations. The best way to help to address the housing gap in America. 50% of the people who are homeless in America are descendants of slavery. The health gap in America. African Americans were, were experimented on during slavery. And we still see this economic injustice today. We feel the best way to ad address universal health care is wonderful, a beautiful concept but it does not address the historical injustices in America's health care system. Universal health care is a great concept and I believe in it, but it will not address the historical trauma that black women went through by being experimented on during slavery or the sterilization projects that took place or the Tuskegee experiments that took place. Universal health care won't address that, but reparations will. St. Paul has the worst educate, has some of the worst disparities in the country when it's dealing with education, when it's dealing with housing, when it's dealing with uh, medical, when it's dealing with uh, unemployment. St. Paul itself did a, or Ramsey County did an anti-racism study, which, uh, said that their policies and procedures pathologize the black family and it's not enough just to give job training there needs to be reparations and compensation for even for what like what happened to rondo was similar to what happened in places like tulsa oklahoma and rosewood the murder of george floyd like we were saying his family had 500 acres taken from him taken from his great grandfather uh, a lot of wealth in America is built off generational wealth. So when house, housing and property or businesses are passed down from one generation to another, that creates generational wealth. White America or slavery or institutional racism stole that from black lives who are descendants of slavery 